Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Transport Fever 2. Today's beverage is <sighs> green tea. And I've just realised just how close that road is to the railway line and it is without any retaining fence or wall. So, hmm, health and safety, not entirely a priority around these parts. I think it was made by the Imperials from Star Wars who uh, don't go down for the whole life preservation thing. Anyway, I digress. In a previous video, I went through and showed you the basics of the game. We built some stagecoaches, routed them around a few towns. We did some uh, rail network stuff, as well as uh, played around with the boats. We didn't play around with any of the planes because, quite frankly, I believe it was 1857, so the jump jet was quite a ways away. So in this mini series we're going to go through and play a little bit of the free play mode. There is a campaign mode available but that's a, if I if you'll pardon the expression, a bit more of a railroaded experience. It's more like go here, take this there, build that there. It's sort of a um, objective based thing rather than something we can look at and uh, build how we think it should be and you know hopefully it'll be some fun along the way which is the objective of it and I guess my main hope is that we don't go bankrupt about 30 seconds in. Anyway let's go over to the free game here and we need to generate the map. Now you've got three options for your climate slash country. You've got temperate, dry and tropical and these don't just change the look of the map so in this case a uh, very generic um, brown to the 2000 shooter colour and uh, you've got tropical as well but you can see there's options for like hilliness and uh, mainland it's very very watery the tropical one and things like canyons so if we're going to go with temperate because it is my favorite looking one followed by tropical and then the dry and then in terms of the size and the options i think we're going to keep it on default but i have knocked up the water because i do like quite a lot of water on the maps because i like to build boats in terms of the sizing i found anything over medium so large and very large tends to have a fairly big performance hit and that compounded with recording means that it is not as watchable as I would like. Uh, there's like a lot of micro stutters and things like that, so that's something I'm going to avoid. And also, I find that this, the larger towns tend to lose some character, whereas you've got a very large map like that. You could build, in this case, it's got 15 towns, you just build 15 bus routes and just sit and go, yep, I've made all the money I pretty much need to. Um, so... That there is something I'm going to avoid. I'm going to go over to the small map. Now, you do have form factor options as well. So, you've got like 1x2, one 1x1, by one by one and 1x3. One by so, obviously, that's a quite a tall one. So, 45 by 135 kilometers. So, it's still quite a large map. But we're going to go with a 1x2 form factor. And in terms of the seed, I'm just going to keep randomizing it until we get a nice bit of uh, water, probably through the center like that. And I want at least two towns on the waterways. And this one looks perfect. We've got a nice big body of water there, a nice... Uh, uh, sort of river that goes right through from one side of the map to the other so these can be connected by waterway and also the other town is through and on the other side of this vast, this sort of mountain range here so we've got a lot of things to deal with we've got bridges we've got tunnels we've got waterways and then there's a town over there so that's a nice I think um selection for the map. We're going to go to next and we're going to select our layout for vehicles and stuff. You've got Europe, USA and Asia. Now Europe's the one I'll, most, I'll be for most familiar with. I could probably get by with the USA vehicles. Uh, Asia, no, not a clue. So we're going to stick with Europe. 18.50 for the uh, start of the year and the difficulty goes from easy, medium and hard. I have no idea what it alters. I'm going to assume perhaps wrongly that it's basically the, the cost of things. So we're going to go with medium just to give it a little bit of a challenge there and then we will click start. Uh, someone did point out in the previous video about uh, difficulty and uh, competition the fact that there isn't any competition and that's actually a good point that um, it is you doing your sandbox thing you've got, not got another company or other rivals that are building their own network and trying to buy stock and things like that obviously that's not what they uh, they're wanting and that's not their vision for the game but because uh, because you can build anywhere you don't have to build in a particular area you don't have to buy like plots of land or regions or have certain um, restrictions placed on you where you can build that's just not something that's in the game you can just build anywhere you want you know anywhere on the map you can just build uh, even deleting things in the towns and such so they don't have the you know another person like a competitor that's uh, working on there which I think would um, change things up quite a bit it would be nice to see something like that but uh, well it is an insult there's no point in going on about it so once we have loaded in, we will have a quick look at the four towns that we have, as well as all of the industries. Now, as I said, the, the large maps, I do think, lose they, lose, they tend to lose some character. Um, whereas with these four towns, we'll be, obviously be able to know where everything is. And it also means instead of just doing 
I don't know, say, let's say, 10 uh, trains uh, just taking bread from one place to the other, we can actually have the full sequence. So, for example, take oil from the oil well to the processor that gets um, crude oil and turned into oil, and then you take oil and then make that into petroleum, and then petroleum into fuel, and then fuel back to the town. So a full network is something that we probably can go for. So, like I say, we'll see where we are and where um, things are. We'll probably go ahead and build, I'd say, some... Uh, bus routes first that's probably the way forward so we've got uh, Earl Shilton which is on the riverside here further up from that we have uh, Congleton we've also got Elland over on the far right there and then finally down the bottom we have Settle and as you can see they have all of the different requirements so this is what they require and if they process it'll show you what the process so this takes these two things here which I believe is um, coal and iron ore and it turns it into steel I'm going to guess a uh, yeah, steel uh, is what it produces it requires coal and um, iron ore yeah let me just pause it for a moment while we go around and have a quick look around the map as i said we do have this nice waterway here and looking at the height of the bridge that water will be navigatable yes it is so we can very quickly and easily put in some routes from there to here in terms of some of the supply you can see we have uh, the uh, earl shilton oil well and that then we could probably take over to somewhere that will process it. Click and hold the mouse middle buttons and move and rotate. Yes, I'm aware of that. Thank you. Uh, where can we take that process? There's also an oil well there and uh, over there on the uh, oil refineries is on the other side. Now, if we zoom right in and uh, alter the camera, you can see that that is a fairly... It, it might look small from up here, but no, it is actually fairly problematic to go through. So we'd have to probably train it through here, but that's a future us problem. Let's go over to probably Earl Shilton and we will place some bus routes around here. So let's go over to said bus routes and then buildings and we'll unpause the game because you have to do that in order to build and we'll start placing some things around here. So this is going to go... Good grief, look at that performance high, that, that perform, performance hit. That's that's just terrible, isn't it? I don't know why the frame rate just absolutely tanks when it gets to this stage, but there you are. So we've got the bus route that goes around. You can see everything goes in white where it'll be um, connected to. So I think everything has got a connection there. We will need to build a uh, bus slash tram station. So we go for, actually no, it's a depot, isn't it? A uh, road depot used to buy and sell buses and trucks. So we're going to go for a road depot. In this particular case, it won't be a bus or truck. It will be a... A, um, it'll be stagecoaches. So we're going to go over to the lines here and we'll create a new line and we're not going to name them as such. That is not really... Oh, we might. do we want to name them? Um, I'm feeling that if we start naming them, it might help. Um, okay, so this is um, Earl Shilton. So I'm just going to call it ES. So hang on, ES... Uh, bus, that's what that one is there and even though it's not technically a bus but it is um, I guess it's the stagecoaches so there we are, we'll go over to our um, options for building the buses and we'll say buy some vehicles and we want stagecoach and then there's European horse drawn carriage, so you can see the stagecoach uh, takes per people, we will say we want a total of, I don't know, 10 of them should be sufficient, in terms of money we have 5 million but I think that, that should be fine we'll say them, assign to the ES bus and then that is now on the go, so if we zoom in, we should be able to see, yes, the very first uh, stagecoach coming out of that. There we go. And there's going to be quite a few coming out as well. That is pretty nice. Excellent. That's exactly what we wanted. And you can see they're heading off to the right there, and they're going to do all of the good transport stuff. Speaking of that, we're going to go over to Congleton here, and we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing, but we're going to have to be a bit cheeky about it, because we want to have, um, which I forgot over here, sadly, we want to have a... Uh, a network, a, a ferry going from there down to there. Now the problem with that, which one, is that a passenger harbour it is? The problem with that is we need to make sure it's in the right area and where we've got a bus network. So I'm actually going to rotate this around so we'll connect it up to, and it says collision there. I actually would like to delete that bit of road. I think we could probably delete that little section of road there and then we will go back over to this harbour and then we'll place the harbour in like so. I'm trying to rotate it a little bit but I'm gonna have to hold shift and just just nudge it there just try to line up with that road you see and we can see there's got four connections there and there we go that is now in so that does actually have some uh, connections there I didn't sadly uh, put one over here and why is the camera what I'm not I'm literally touching nothing um, why is the camera doing that <laughs> that's interesting um, yeah I didn't place the the road in here for 
this, which is a shame. So what I'm going to have to do is probably place it there. There is fine. And what I'll do is I'll alter this I'll alter this lane here. So we'll alter the line. Line manager, ES bus. We want to add in another bus route, probably around here. But we'll put one there and I'll put one there just because we're heading that way anyway. So bus route will go right outside, uh, like so. And then one will go to that side there as well. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit problematic. Add station there and then add station there and you can see yeah, it's all kinds of bad. Remove all, yes we do, but it still keeps the root. So the root is still in place. You can see everything has been assigned to the root is gone. It's still there. They're still in position but um, they're just not on the new route until we've like done that there. So that is perfectly fine. That should now be working. We will double check in a bit to see if things are coming down. In fact, I'll put up to max speed. We can see these stagecoaches are working on the way along there. Now, some of them might take slightly strange routes because we've just literally redone the route. So, yeah, uh, I might turn those tips off. Hmm. Anyway, you can see they are probably, yeah, they're probably going back to the first part of call. Right, that's fine. So we'll uh, crack on with those later on. We'll check We'll check in with those later on. Back over to here where we've got our next town. We are going to, once again, go over to the bus routes here. And we'll place one just on the outside like so. And we'll go around there and then there and then probably that way, this way, around here. And then over to there, which I think is fine. Uh, this is... Congleton, so new line, and then we'll work our way around like so. And obviously, trying to remember the sequence is is uh, not overly difficult. So it is um, Congleton bus CT. Does that make sense? Yeah, that'll be that'll be about right. And um, there we are. So that's now in. We will once again have to go over to buildings here. We need to go to the road depot, and we'll place a road depot. It'll be nice to place it in the centre, but it's not strictly necessary, is it? Um, we'll place it in this corner, like so. Not caring too much where it goes, as long as it's near. That's all we really care about. And once again, we're going to buy the same amount of vehicles. I think ten is sufficient. We will assign all of those to that uh, bus there, and. That is our public transport on the way. And as you can see now, once again, they are coming out of here. And then they're going to head off into the distance. Nice pretty looking, nice looking carriages there. Yeah. And um, they're very, very... Um, <laughs> the horses are um, very, very well trained. They seem to be um, very much in tune with one another. <laughs> Right, excellent. So that is now in. Um, we could put a ferry in, couldn't we? We could put one in now, and that may work. It may work. The problem is that it also costs quite a bit. Let's have a quick look to see how much, well, for a start, how much is a shipyard. A shipyard would be, actually the shipyard isn't too much money, so we might place one of those in. I think I will place it down here because it's, uh, well, it's fine, fine going around here. We'll just place it there a little bit further along so we still keep some of those trees, you see. Um, and also it gets cheaper. We'll place it in the cheapest position, which is... Ah, oh, it's rather the further the further out it sticks, the cheaper it gets. Right, okay. Um, Forty. There we go. That's fine. But for the for the vehicle law, we have three options: Riggy, Wilhelm first, and the Zrosa. Zrosa. What's that? Ah, oh, that carries oil and such. Um, that carries specific cargo. That one carries all types of cargo. The difference being that that one is a bit cheaper, uh, but it's also a bit slower. Hmm. First official steamship uh, on Lake Constance. Ah, the first steamship on Lake Constance. Very nice. In terms of weight, that's a lot lighter. It's a little bit more expensive. Manufactured in England, summoned in Lusrain. Since there was no local coal in Switzerland at that time, the riggy was fired with wood. Okay, well, we're going to buy one. And we will have to create a route first. That's always um, something we should <laughs> look at. And we're going to change that over to blue because, well, quite frankly, it's on the water. Um, so it's L. Shilton, L. Shilton to CT uh, Boat. 
should we call it ferry but there you go it's in and um that's it so we should sign that to the correct one and you notice it is um contextual it does know that yes the only one line available that's in the water is actually the uh <laughs> the one that we it's offering to assign it to and what's happening over there don't know why there's strip the water is different there hmm and uh oh that's bad uh we might have a little problem with the boat. There we go. I was going to say we might have a problem with the with the boat. I think it's because it's just assigned itself to there. That's probably what it's done. But you can see it is now steaming along. Looking quite nice. Indeed. The problem being that here we have... Uh, how many people do we have over at this location? Um, absolutely nobody. But we do have these coming along. You see all of the stagecoaches and such. And people are... Um, getting on there, so that's fine. You can see there's some um, people showing above here, and that, that denotes that there's some people waiting, so there's 14 people on the bus route there. So that is fine. Right, um, so now that we've spent over um, a third of our money, we're going to continue to spend over in here. We're going to do settle, and then we'll basically we'll get the bus routes in. Um, so let's put the buses in. So once again, the uh, bus slash tram stop will place that there, and then this will go along here. I try to make I'm trying to make it so it sort of backs onto its uh, like itself, um, like that, and then probably there, and then that should do us quite nicely. Once again, new line, and then we'll work around, and it'll follow it quite nicely, like so, and job done. Um, so we need to name that, um, and this is settle. So se bus. There we go. And then we'll also add some buildings in there. I mean, this is all the basic stuff that you tend to find that um, you get done uh, very easily. And uh, something you... Construction is not possible, apparently, in there. Well, that's a shame. We'll place it in that corner. Yeah, it's something I tend to do quite early. Get the buses in. And it just makes it... You know, it's a nice little money earner. It gets people flowing. Um, so that's uh, what we want. And there we go. We'll assign it to here. Now, it doesn't mean that because we've got that there that we have to assign the buses to here or anything. We could technically do it over there. And what they'll do... Uh, the buses will come from Earl Shilton and down across all the way through here. And... Oh, no, they wouldn't go that way. Okay, it's like... Um, Follow the line puzzles uh, down here. No, they wouldn't be able to get there because this isn't actually connected up with the road, so they wouldn't be able to get there. But if there was a connection between there and there, for example, they would be able to come down that road right across this way, and there you are. Um, what I mentioned about the scale of the game, this is only a small map, but it does look quite quite big. And what is what's best to get a sense of scale? That's what you think is a stone's throw. Yeah, Congleton over to Earl Shilton. Uh, if we go right over to it. And you think, right, where's the other town? Well, it's over there. Um, you can't even see it. Oh, you can see just some of the buildings there. I mean, obviously this is all the UI stuff, but if all that was not there, you can only just see them buildings, industrial building there. And this is, like, what most people would see. Yeah? It's quite a ways away. <laughs> it's deceptive. Uh, yeah, it is, is uh, deceptive. Okay, so this is Elland, and we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to place some bus routes in here. So this is a bit different because we have the bus routes that don't go all the way. So place that there, um, place that in there, and one in there, and then there, and then up to there. They're like the, There's no real route or back around, which is interesting it doesn't really matter in fact, it, it, it definitely doesn't matter as long as they have a turning point which is at the end of the road there then they'll take that okay so once again over to the new line and we'll follow this one down it's gonna be a little bit different than previous uh, in other towns but that should all be in and this is this is um, Ellen so we'll name that line then just um, EL uh, bus and hang on, why have I put two, why have I put loads of S's in there? Hang on, why have I got extra S's? What's going on? I'm still looking at that. Going, hang on, pretty sure that's wrong. Yes, it is wrong. Uh, bus, <laughs> right? So that's now in. Let's go ahead to here, and we'll buy the vehicles. Stagecoach. So we'll have ten of those, and that should be it. Yes. Assign to EL bus, and there we go. That's now in. So we now have four bus routes, and we have the ship with no passengers. 
which is not great considering that that's probably oh earnings are currently at um uh, at minus 2.3 million that's earnings not money um the account it's on the left hand side we have 2.6 million in the kitty we do still have a uh, bank loan there as well so that's 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 not great but putting all of these in will hopefully start to make the people move around and such in fact we go over here we can see that uh we have some people now waiting on the dock Yes, we have people waiting on the dock. How many people do we have on the dock? 14 on the dock. So I've found that if you get get these routes in very quickly... Wow, that's a interesting design. Uh, <laughs> bit of a uh, jut out there, but no matter. Yes, if you have um, these built early, the, essentially the um, supply... Uh, well, the supply is there, they're just not the demand, but the demand will eventually uh, ramp up until it equals supply. So, that is now in. Now what we need to do is look around and see what sort of industries we have. So, we've got all manner of industries. We've got some over here, actually, in uh, Earl. And we've got a farm over there, followed by the food processing plant. And luckily, we have just to the left, Earl, with uh, the requirements of food. See that? It requires food. So, we could have some food getting taken from here come down we'll probably add a road into join up to there and then they'll go into here and then they'll go back round that's probably the way forward and probably what we'll do so let's crack on with that so we need a, a bus slash tram station and this will go in well you can see all of the supply you can see uh, sorry the demand is right near this part of the town so having it in here is probably the way forward so i'm going to try i do stress try and fit it in now i was going to try and fit it in there but it's definitely not going to go in there it's uh, going to delete half the house which is not something i want to go and do but i will place it in here um actually we'll place it in that way and just trying to move it around you can see it's going to put some weird kinks in the road there and I don't know why oh that's an interesting choice if we did it that way uh, we'll place it in there but we'll just we'll just uh, go ahead and give it a little a little wee nudge in that direction and then join up to the path there as well so that is now in we have to do the same thing over on this side obviously I'm just going to um, move it around until it's uh, no longer connected to the farm then you'll be able to see just when that is, uh, which is there. So anything further along, and it, no, no, it does actually still connect to the farm there. There, that's the last part of it there. And we'll put it in there. That just means that we don't have to go all the way up to the farm. It saves a lot of time. Um, we're gonna go over to road building actually this time. And we're gonna add a road. Streets actually, I think it's a medium, just a country road, isn't it? Yes. And the country road, we will have it come out here. Actually, no. Come off there. So we'll do it that side. There we go. That's a bit better. I want to sort of make it curve round to there. You can see it's on level grid. And then over to here. And oh, that's interesting. It wants to place a a tunnel in. Now we'll say go on land. Oh, that's going to cut it up, right? So we're not going to do any of that. Um, we'll just build it from that location along level grid. Uh, it's going to go uphill. Uh, we want to alter it a little bit. So standard grade. And then over to there. And it's got a little bit of a cut in there in the land. But it's not actually too bad. It looks okay. Right. And then for buildings. Uh, we can just place it opposite I think. Is that the right? Uh, modular truck station. Uh, oh. Have I placed the wrong one? I have. I have. I've placed the bus slash tram station. My mistake. We'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. Right, yes, I was placing the wrong one. My apologies, it's the bus station we want. And you see there, it's still got that like leftover remnant there. Um, the reason for that is it's basically saying, look, if you've got any roots here and you place it back down, it autom automatically places like the root back on there, which I think is quite a smart thing. Uh, we'll rotate that around and then that'll go in here. And that's a lot of money spent, but I think uh, spent in the right place at the right time. So, we have three things there. We can go for the line manager, and this is going to be um, lines from there to there and then to there. All right. So, it's got a big route all the way around. This is going to be the Earl Shilton food, because uh, that's the full food processing. So, it's taking the, uh, I guess it would be 
what does it actually call it? It calls it grain down to the bakery essentially and then over to there so that's one big route in terms of the transport solutions by vehicles we want to have a european horse-drawn carriage which is all types of cargo we're gonna get 10 for that one it's a bit of money i now you understand but it's uh i need to speculate to accumulate and all of that and that's now set up so it should be going round and if we check that you can see there's no production there's no shipment no transport this one similar thing you can see what the production is but there's no transport with shipment it is shipping so it is shipping over to there there you go so we now have food starting to come to that location and then stuff's now going to be working around excellent let's have a quick look then at our station statistics no where is it it is um that one so no that one got there in the end so this is our line statistics and it shows you the money that you are making or in this case losing uh, losing quite a bit of actually and we've got the f that's a sign for wood for some reason it'll probably fix itself once it gets to the proper location um the only thing that's making money at the moment is the earl shilton bus route but that's because it's the oldest the other ones you can see this one here um, if we check in the line over to this side that is losing money, but only by six grand the other bus routes again It's nine grand and thirteen grand eventually though. They will come good. I believe that should be fine the biggest loser at the moment is sadly the um, the boat the Earl Shilton to Congleton boat, but it does have now 28 passengers on board and we can check that by going over to it and there we are so that's now working very nice in fact yeah and it means that we should be able to uh, make a profit on that hopefully quite shortly because if we go over here we can see that already there's 13 people waiting at that bus route and this is only about a quarter of the way to the destination so by the time it gets there it should come good right i think we will leave it there i know it's been a massive spending episode but i believe it's been spent in the right place next episode then we can go ahead and check out to see what other industries we have going we have wood over here in the forest which we can take over to some processing uh, there for example there's a settled sawmill that turns the wood into planks and then planks we can turn into uh, it looks like to be is it tools tools and then tools is required in settle so that's another route we can go for the problem with it is that it will have a all the people going through there there will be probably a bit of uh, what's that? Emissions. Yeah, there'll be some emissions because of that. Now, at this stage of the game, and with the technology that we have, i.e. horse-drawn carriage, there won't be a lot of emissions. Um, but, yeah, it's something we have to look at. What we'll probably end up doing is adding a road from there all the way to here, just to cut out this extra go this bit to go there so we'll go from there up to there round and then back and then obviously to that side as well but we will see how we get on i don't think it's a terrible start although i made a couple of mistakes but eh, we can live with that hopefully although the bank balance says um that is probably not the case but we'll see how we get on in the subsequent episodes and good grief that is a very very tall mountain isn't that it's got some steep gradient on it right i don't think going from here to over there would be actually it wouldn't be too bad because we just go between it actually would be very scenic but um we have no reason to do that we do probably want to connect up congleton to elland via the railways and it's actually relatively flat yeah so maybe we'll do that as well next episode we'll see we can't really really go about spending as much money but we've got things set up and hopefully everything will continue on very very nicely as always hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings